Like all envelope generators, you can trigger a function on Quadrax by sending a gate or trigger to the channel's trig input. But Quadrax has a bunch of other ways that you can trigger functions, and they are selected by pressing the buttons here on the left. If the button is not lit, it's in the standard mode, and depending on the selected function it will either require a gate or trigger to fire, or it's continuously cycling independently. Press the button once to make it light up red, and you're in trigger link mode. This means that the channel receives the trigger of its upstairs neighbor. Or if you're looking at the trig inputs, it will be the trig input to the left. In the case of channel 1, it would receive any triggers sent to channel 4. This mode is useful if you want to use one gate or trigger to fire multiple envelopes. Or synchronize LFOs. For example, you might want to use one to open your VCA, a second to sweep your filter, a third to sweep the oscillator's pulse width, and a fourth to bend the pitch. With Quadrax, you can easily do this without any malting. The other two modes are End of Rise and End of Fall. These two modes are great if you want to cascade one channel to trigger after another. Quadrature effects can be achieved this way too. Green indicates end of rise, so if we activate that on channel 2, it will fire once channel 1 completes its rise phase. In burst mode, end of rise will fire at the start of each pulse within a burst. This means that you can set up a second set of bursts with rise and fall control using AD mode on the linked channel. In LFO mode, the end of rise is triggered once the LFO completes half its cycle. This makes it easy to match the timing of two or more functions to an LFO, whether it's clocked or not. But in this case, the linked function will be out of phase with the LFO causing the triggering. With the button lit up yellow, end of fall is selected. This works similarly to end of rise, only the trigger occurs when the neighbor completes the fall portion of the envelope. End of fall in burst mode is triggered once the burst completes and all of the pulses have fired. With LFO mode selected, end of fall will trigger once the LFO completes a full cycle. This is a useful way to match the timing of a function to an LFO, but in this case they will be locked in phase. If you have the QX expander attached, it will output both the end of rise and end of fall triggers as gates. We'll cover this in more detail in a future video. The channel link options make Quadrax a lot more convenient and powerful to use, but there's still way more to explore. Next we'll check out the CV modulation inputs and assignments.